Today, we honor the musical legends of the past while looking forward to the next generation of R&B, pop, soul, and hip hop artists. So without further ado, now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the, the President of the United States, George W. Bush. Thank you all. Please be seated. Thank you. Rachel, thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the introduction, and thanks for representing the United States. Proud to have you here. I uh, want to welcome you all right here to the People's House. I'm pleased you could join us for this annual celebration of Black Music Month. This is an event I've always looked forward to. It's a chance to listen to some good music. <laughs> Presidents who've welcomed some of our great musicians here to the White House. So as we honor Black Music Month, it makes sense to bring some talent here to entertain us. Uh, Karina uh, Passion grew up in New York City. She's the child of immigrants from the Dominican Republic. Her parents are both teachers in the New York public school system. And early on, it became clear that Karina had an incredible gift for music. At age three, that's the definition of early on, <laughs> <laughs> she was singing and studying piano. By age 12, she was performing at the Colosseum in Rome. Before a television audience of more than a half a million people alongside Alicia Keys and Stevie Wonder and Andrea Bocelli. Today, she's 15 years old. She's already recorded her first album. And despite her young age, she tackles very mature issues with her music. She sings about hunger and disease in Africa and the genocide in Darfur. And we appreciate that uh, clarity, appreciate her bringing these issues to focus to help more people understand that the world's got to do something about it now before it's too late. I, I will tell you, America's in the lead when it comes to HIV AIDS on the continent of Africa. We're on the lead when it comes to feeding the hungry. We're on the lead when it comes to eradicating malaria. And that's where we need to be, and that's where we will stay. And I appreciate very much Karina bringing this issue to focus. We're proud that you're here, and we're proud that you brought your big heart to this stage, People's House. We also appreciate them coming to help us celebrate Black Music Month. I appreciate you all joining to help celebrate Black Music Month. May God bless you. May God continue to bless our country. Come back. Now, it isn't every day that Jay-Z and Sean Diddy Combs vie for the attention of a 15-year-old young lady. Now, in case these names aren't familiar to you, uh, they're the heads of a couple of the leading record labels in the country, which include Def Jam Records and Bad Boy Entertainment. Our first performer is no ordinary teen participating in ceremonies and, in a, and in inaugurations of state and federal elected officials, including the president and former president of the Dominican Republic. Last year, she performed for over 500 young leaders at the United Nations General Assembly, Young Youth United Against Malaria Gala, which is a cause Mrs. Bush is particularly concerned about. Through her music, she hopes to send a message of peace, unity, and compassion. She also hopes to inspire people to pursue their dreams. Please join me in welcoming the young and extraordinarily talented Karina Passion.